Hey everybody, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through setting up the social fans counter in Easy Social Share Buttons for WordPress. As always, we're in the config dashboard of this plugin and we scroll down and click social fans counter on the left hand side. Uh, there's a little message here if you need help uh, figuring out how to use it. It's all pretty straightforward, however. It's basically just a short code which you can see here uh, with a few variables in there, star, flat, columns, four. You can also set a width uh, as well if you want it to be uh, a particular width. Uh, so what we do now is we sort of just come down and the first thing we can do is sort out the actual order that you would like the networks to appear in that particular widget. We're not going to change that at the moment and there's obviously a the cache time here as well. I'm just gonna change it off to eight just to make it a little bit uh, less intensive on resources. Then what you would do is just sort of go through each of the options here and set them up. So we're gonna do Facebook first. I'm just gonna put in WPKB.com there, the total number of fans uh, without the key token because I'm not going to put in the uh, access token key there. Twitter username, we're gonna do the same thing as well. I wanna show the followers and we wanna extract it without API keys uh, just to save setting that up. Below this, you can see that you'll find pretty much every social network you can think of. We've got Google+, YouTube, Vimeo, Dribbble, GitHub, Envato, SoundCloud, Behance, Delicious, Instagram. And the list really just does continue to go on. Uh, if you spent time setting all this up, it would take a long time. Uh, we don't really want to spend the time going through all of these uh, on this particular video because we'd be here for an extremely long time. We're just gonna have it set with two there for the moment and then hit update settings. And that's been saved. So what we can do now is go into appearance and widgets. We'll open that up in a new tab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of these widgets that we've got here at the moment because it's quite a long sidebar at the moment. And what we'll do is we'll just scroll down. Uh, we can see that the plugins widgets are just here. So we're just gonna to go to the fans counter widget, click on that, add it to the widget area. It's gonna to go to the bottom. So we're gonna just drag that up uh, then we just want to make sure it looks good. So we've got the style, we're going to change it to Metro. Three columns is probably the right amount to have there. We'll change it to show the social box only. So that'll actually help avoid uh, the theme widget design and hide the widget title. And we'll just hit save. And then we just want to make sure that that's displaying correctly on the front end of our website. There you go. So we only set it up with uh, Facebook and Twitter. The Twitter number doesn't appear to be actually displaying correctly at the moment. That's probably because we're trying to fetch it without the API data, but you can see how it looks. Uh, it looks nice and clean as well, especially because we don't have a great deal of other uh, social icons on this page. In fact, they're the only ones that we have at the moment. Uh, but yeah, in a gen but generally speaking, that's how you would set up uh, this. You know, like, like we've just sort of said, there's an abundance of social networks you can configure there. It's up to you how many you want to use. Uh, but for now, that's where we're going to wind it up. If you have any questions about what we've covered in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe for more.